Uh, Aya, thank you so much for being here today at our Forskafrukost. Uh, today you'll be talking about uh, ideas and technology for indoor environment. And you're working on this project called Healthy Indoor Environment. Could you tell me a bit more about the challenges you're facing in this project? Uh, first of all, uh, great to be here really nice uh, yes our group I think that the major challenge is uh, but also it's it's a joy um, we are from different disciplines we want to look into indoor environments from the holistic perspective we would like to link different aspects so we want to combine bo both the medical aspects psychological aspects but also uh, technological and engineering so among us we have very many different disciplines and different expertise uh, so so the, to start with the challenge was to, to find a common ground and common language it takes some time but I think that we've done really well and um, yeah with open mind uh, with right attitudes and um, equality in the group you can go really far and I think it it brings amazing advantages that's great. Uh, one of the latest trends uh, when it comes to offices are these activity-based workplaces. I'm sure that brings along new challenges when it comes to indoor environments. Yes, uh, well in fact uh, it seems like that it's a huge uh, worldwide uh, experiment that in fact we cannot support it because we don't know what the consequences are. Uh, and of course, there are. I understand there are good reasons for it. Um, decreasing the cost of the facility management, decreasing the space and the service costs, uh, increasing communication, being flexible for the organizational changes. But at the same time, we really don't know what it means for 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 workers' uh, satisfaction, productivity, and and well-being. So, hold your courses. Let us look at it, if possible. Uh, in this project, uh, you are working mostly with university people right now, but who would you like to be involved in this indoor project just to become more successful? Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, would you like to, to take this? Well, we actually do already now work with uh, building companies, for example, energy providers, uh, and um, uh, yeah, and uh, municipalities. So we already have partners, but it would be really nice to uh, have also people who are um, uh, innovative people who are coming up with new products, for example, that we can integrate in this indoor environment thinking. Uh, yeah, I think we should invite anyone who are concerned about these things. So you're in the good then at Ideon, where we have a lot of creative people, Absolutely. that's really good. <laughs> uh, I have a final question. Uh, we talked about the trends and uh, new office buildings, but there are also a lot of older buildings being renovated and retrofitted. Uh, what kind of challenges does that bring for the uh, indoor environment? Again, I think that AI would be the best. Uh. <laughs> well, many, uh, many buildings uh, are to be renovated now. Uh, they have been built in the 60s, 70s, 80s maybe. And uh, when you renovate a building, of course you want to make it more energy efficient. efficient and that is good. <laughs> but if doing so, you have to think about the consequences and also integrate um, the occupant, the people living there, working there or whatever, who is the end user of the building, but also has an impact on how these systems in the building work. Yes. Uh